Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Simple Colors Pumpkin Spice, and I'm going to put it over Pure Ice's Shorebit. I've started off with the Yellow Stopper as my base coat, and here is Shorebit by Pure Ice. Very neutral, nice, beautiful polish. Extremely excellent formula. This could have been a one-coater, but I'm a ninny. I had to do two, but it really could have been a one-coater. It went on like a dream. So, getting over to that sidewall, making sure I get, you know, get close enough over there without making a mess. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful polish. I do believe this is one Miss Tammy sent me, and I love it. It's excellent. Gotta break out Woody, because I am a mess maker. So here we go. We're going to go in with that second coat of Shorebet. It's kind of like a greened out beige or something. It's definitely in that family. Um, you know, I'm not always the best at describing colors, but it's, it's, it's just beautiful. And here is Sinful Colors Pumpkin Spice, little glitter bomb. And I'm just going to apply one regular old coat of that over sure bet and this was suggested to me by my friend Jenny over at Le Shenny 21 nails um, she had done something very similar so I'm gonna give it a try thank you Jenny here we go with Woody again I'm gonna top it off with the salon perfect clear coat top coat and let this dry down before we head on to the next step because you guys know I can't leave this beautiful manicure alone I gotta do something to it gotta do something plus I wanted to try out something so you'll see here in just a second so I'm gonna apply the yellow stopper because I'm going to be using one of these BC plates that I got recently from AliExpress and I'll be well I'm gonna I thought I was gonna use the born pretty gray but I'm not you'll see here in a minute but a lot of my friends um, warned me that these plates are not etched very well so I'm gonna use um, I'm going to use the yellow stopper to help make sure if I get the image to pick up that I can also get it to, you know, transfer and stick to my nail. So I was trying to use the gray and you can see it, but it's just, it doesn't look very good. So we're going to move over to the Nicole Diary Black and give that a shot. And I am using my very sticky Starry Sky Scraper from Born Pretty. I believe you can get them at Born Pretty or AliExpress, and it's picking them up. I, I don't, you know, I'm gonna have to play with these plates some more, but um, I am following the suggestions of, you know, a definitely a sticky stamper. I am using five images off of this plate, and I didn't have any trouble getting any of them to pick up, pick up or transfer to my nails. They all just did fantastic, but we're not gonna think that all of them are going to be like that. We will be playing with the rest of the plates later. So, But I do believe that the suggestion of using a very sticky stamper was a good idea. Now with that, you don't have the clear, you know, see-through and you, you don't get the same kind of placement. But if you're just going for something kind of random like this, who cares? <laughs> you can just do it. So I do like the images so far and you know I, I just I don't have anything bad to say about this plate I don't know that I'll be buying any more until I play with all of them we'll see we'll see how the rest of them do there we go we have gotten all the images on we're gonna do some cleanup here with some tape very easy cleanup with that Nicole diary stamp and polish it's coming up really well but I will be breaking out the acetone and a cleanup brush. And just do a little bit of tidying up. I really did like how this one turned out though. And you know, I might could have left a couple of fingernails blank and let that beautiful polish just play on its own. But I was really, really curious about these BC plates, so I wanted to give one a real good road test. And, you know, five out of five picked up and transferred great. So, so far, so good. And I'm 
just doing all my little normal cleanup here with my Sonia Kushak Tools number 27 brush and some pure acetone. And I love how this glitter pops out from underneath these designs, the black stamp designs. It's just, to me, it's just awesome. I love it. Uh, you'll get to see it better when I do my swatch photo at the end. There we go. Ta-da! I'm going to top this one off with some pure ice. No, not pure ice. Are you kidding me? Posh top coat because I'm going to seal it in. And I do have pretty good luck with floating that top coat over the top without it, you know, being too draggy or anything. And I'm capping my end to make sure that, you know, this design stays on my nails and I get some wear out of it. And here's the final look. My swatch photo's coming up. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. If you like it or don't, I don't, you know, it's okay if you don't like it. Thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself.